everyone. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my fall fashion wish list. This is going to be part one because I do have a feeling things are going to add on going further into the fall season and this will also be sort of a winter wish list as well. Fall and winter definitely sort of mesh in the Los Angeles sort of weather. I don't really have too many like really heavy coats on my wish list but I have clothing, I have shoes, I have handbags and I will definitely have more on my wish list later on down the road sometime soon. So before I get started if you happen to be new here welcome my name is Lisa and I do a ton of fashion related videos everything from the affordable to the luxury and if you like videos like this then I would love for you guys to join my YouTube family so if you want then hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload and I do have an Instagram that's where you could see everything that I talk about pretty much here on my channel styled so check it out if you haven't already okay so I'm just gonna be putting photos of everything that I am talking about here and the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is something from Zara and it is called the super soft coat or something like that I feel like I have been on the hunt for the perfect weight of a just straight coat in this icy gray color last year I ended up picking up the blank NYC super cozy knit one with a hood but it does have a more casual vibe because it is a little bit of a cardigan sort of vibe but this one has more of a structured vibe but not really it is so incredibly soft I tried this on in the store and I was super close to getting it but then I sort of just felt like because I've been on the hunt for one for so long that I was like wait maybe there are going to be more coming out this year and the more and more I keep looking and hunting I keep thinking about that one so I'm definitely gonna be ordering this one so I will for sure be doing a fall haul coming up soon I did end up picking up something else when I was there so stay tuned for that next up is this checked jacket or blazer from Jaffa and I believe I found this on stylewe.com checked coats and blazers for me I'm super picky about this one is so cool because it has the collegial sort of ribbing on the sleeves and that was to me would just sort of sold it I think it's super unique and awesome I have been seeing some from like misguided and ASOS and Zara and I just sort of feel like I don't know I'm not crazy about them but I did kind of want to interpret that look into my wardrobe this season and I just think that this one was just awesome so this is 100% on my wish list. Next up is another really cozy sweater and I'm so excited that Jen from Close Encounters ended up coming out with her own clothing line. She is just the cutest thing in general and I think the way she dresses is so cool. She has such a dope unique personal style and her line is called Eggy and she has this beautiful beautiful I actually love everything from the line but if I had to choose one thing there's this beautiful cozy long cardigan. She described it as you know she loves really cozy sweaters sweaters but she also wanted something to feel like a blankie. This one is literally almost down to the ground and it is in such a unique color that I would have never really considered to add to my wardrobe but because I do have such a you know monotone sort of wardrobe with grays and neutrals and blacks and tans I think this will go really really well and the price point for her line is so well too. I think it's around 69 bucks but I love it. I unfortunately watched her video too late because when I clicked on the link to get it uh, it was sold out so I just put myself on the email me when it comes back into stock. Next up is a wide leg cropped trouser from Everlane. These are so cool. I do want to in incorporate more like trouser type of pants in my wardrobe and I still don't want it to feel too trendy for me like I feel like I still need to make it more me before I go ahead and buy a bunch of these you know a bunch of pants this style Zara always comes out with things like this but this one in particular just sort of spoke to me I don't know why but I think these will look so dope with a pair of boots higher boots that are like more fitted to the leg or combat boots or even some dope oxfords I think that these will definitely be a through. I also think that these will be really nice even dressed up. If I wanted to wear this with a heel and you know a nicer blouse and maybe a belt I think that'll look super cool and pulled together and edgy and at the same time really chic. Going into shoes oh my gosh I need to maybe even do a separate shoe wish list video for fall but I just sort of picked a couple for this one and the first one is the Gucci Brixton loafers and these are the ones that you're able to sort of push down the back and wear as a slip-on mule I don't think I would ever do that but I do like the fact that it is more of a softer supple leather versus the other thicker leather one that is a complete loafer so 
I never really jumped on the mule bandwagon when Gucci came out with it because I think so many amazing dupes came out. But when it comes to a really, really classic, clean, soft black loafer, Gucci does it the best. And these I've always sort of thought about and I was kind of low-key waiting for a really good dupe of this and I haven't you know seen any and these I liked since last year and now the more and more I see them I'm starting to love them again Emma Hill is one of my favorite all-time favorite fashion bloggers you know in the fashion industry she is such an amazing influencer on me and my personal style and she ended up getting these and just everything about her just reeks cool so because of her now I sort of just really want them and I do think that there is obviously no sort of lifespan as far as you know them being timeless or not or you know become passe I think they will always be timeless and always classic so yes 100% that is on my wish list next up is a pair of boots duh I am like boot junkie and I have several pairs of combat boots but these were so cool when I saw them and the price point's amazing and they're by Shelley's London don't know the exact style name but I'm just gonna obviously pop a picture I mean how cool are these how cool are these? Skinny jeans, a jogger tracksuit, even a dope dress and like a trench. These are just everything. You are even my Levi's wedgie fit jeans because they're all cropped, you know, them coming up to that. I just think it just is something, a combat boot, you know, a Doc Martin sort of very grunge vibe is quintessential cool girl. So I just always am attracted to that style of boot and they just kind of got these spot on, especially being for the price point. I think they're amazing. I know Chanel came out with really dope combat boots this year and Louis Vuitton came out with really, really cool tread sole, even with monogram on them and a heel. Those are awesome. But just being that I already have so many different types of boots like this, I, this one I felt was just a little bit different enough to actually be able to digest of even having another pair of boots. It's like, I don't even need, I can open a store with boots, literally. So I don't need another pair, but this is definitely high on the wish list if I were to jump in and get another pair. Going into handbags. Oh my gosh, this is another separate video for sure, but I'm just gonna name a few, just a few. Right now, I've been really lusting over the Balenciaga Metallic Edge collection. I think in general, the biker bags from Balenciaga, I've talked about this in my last video, is just another quintessential cool girl type of thing to have and they're good just throw in have your stuff in your bag and go and they aren't very like even though if you do know handbags it is something that you'll recognize right away that it's a designer handbag but if you're not it's not they aren't so in your face and i like how the metallic edge leather is a little bit thicker it's a goat skin leather so it is something that i think will have a little bit more structure it'll still get slouch but it'll have a little bit more structure a little bit longer i just like the way that one feels over the classic leather even though the classic leather ones are so extremely soft now as far as the size goes i'm very into the whole town shape um, the actual city bags for me are huge and I know they come in a small version so it, it would be between the city small metallic edge or the metallic edge town and then even going into that you know looking on the pre-loved market there's just so amazing other you know classic city um, giant cities and also towns with the giant hardware on the pre-loved market too so I, it's just sort of up in the air but those are the ones that I am lusting over and I, just, I don't know. I just think that they're so beautiful and they're always relevant. I would just always feel put together and sort of cool just wearing that bag. Next handbag is something that I've been battling in my brain for quite some time, pretty much before I even got my Gucci Marmont Mini. And that is the nude Marmont in the medium size or the small size. I don't think I would go for the small just because the proportion of the bag is a little bit too east west for me and the mini is like perfect and then the medium i like how it's a little bit more north south and it has more of like that square shape it's literally the bigger version of the mini i just think the small is sort of not needed in my collection at the moment the nude and the medium is so absolutely stunning the more i think about it though i do want a nude bag i want a nude bag or a gray bag for sure um when it comes to flat bags and i picture myself getting a nude one i don't know if i want that bag but I do love that bag. Do you know what I mean? So it's something that I have been battling back and forth with. Like, I don't know if I just want to wait until Chanel actually comes out with an amazing classic flap in a dope taupe color. Or 
I get this bag and then you know one day I get another flat bag and nude I don't think it's bad to have more than one nude bag because I am considering even getting the city um, or the Balenciaga town in a nude or a gray but I think that's sort of a different animal it's a different shape but when in terms of flat bags this one it has been high 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 on my wish list in the moment they came out with the minis and then they came out with the nude color range i was waiting for them for a long time to come out with the minis in the nude they didn't australia had them and now they have the super minis in the nude maybe they'll still get the mini in the nude and if they did then that will completely fill the void for me from getting something that is nude from that collection and i know they have the little camera bags but i'm just so in love with my marmont mini that i wouldn't mind adding another one to my collection just being either that it's another mini or the medium I don't know i'm clearly clearly confused but that has definitely been on my wish list for a long time so hopefully one day soon my brain will just make up my mind next up is something i'm actually on a wait list for and i'm waiting for them to email me and it is the teddy blake eva bag stampado in the dark beige in the gold hardware that is the bag that i wanted originally before they sent me the black one and the rep was so sweet the one that was sort of just talking to me back and forth and she was like i'm gonna email you as soon as the dark beige ones come back into stock I am so obsessed with my Eva bag. You guys don't even know. Like, it is such an amazing everyday size. And a lot of the times when me and Matt are out for the day, I have to have something with me that I'm going to feel comfortable with, you know, in the evening too. So having something that's good from day to night that holds everything I need during the day and then also still looks really chic and pulled together when I wear it in the evening time is sort of really important for me. So this style of bag does it, like in a second and i think adding this bag in the nude could maybe potentially fill the nude void but at the same time this is a different sort of style you know from the balenciaga bag from a flat bag you know it's a little bit different so i wouldn't mind having you know different nude bags but i just want them to be a little bit different from each other and i just originally wanted that color in the first place so that is on my wish list 100 percent last but not least is a bag that will forever be on my wish list until i get it and that is the fendi peekaboo bag battle of the sizes. I do want to eventually own the mini and the medium, but I don't know which one I would want first. Right now I'm lusting over the mini, but I know the medium and that sort of shape and silhouette is something that I think is kind of really functional for me in my life and just, you know, long term. So I don't really know. Uh, as far as color goes, I have no clue. I am on a gray nude sort of rampage of like obsessions right now so I don't know if I would want that in gray or nude um, maybe even the mini in red I think it's so dope but I wouldn't get the medium in red because I just think that's too much red so I don't really know but this bag is forever forever going to be on my wish list and I had to give it a mention all right you guys so that is it it's a very short and sweet sort of part one as far as fall fashion wish lists go so definitely stay tuned for another wish list and definitely stay tuned for fall hauls coming up so excited for the cooler weather i actually have my ac blasting in my house right now in order for me to be wearing this jacket because it is about 95 outside so i'm super excited for you know this coming year and just everything and of course for fashion all the time always so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you want to see part two as far as a wish list goes and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i'll see you guys next time bye Mwah.